Hi, this is your host Abhilip Bharatiya and welcome to our 2023 predictions video series. And today we have with us once again, Sean Amara, field CTO at Mirantis. Sean, it's great to have you on the show. It's great to be back. Yeah. And before I ask you to grab your crystal ball and share your predictions, tell us a bit about the company. So Mirantis is focused on helping our customers to uh, build extraordinary products. It's the simplest way to put it. We focus on automating the discovery and integration and operation of the best cloud technologies so that our customers can spend their time and effort focusing on building their most valuable code um, and focusing what they need to achieve for their businesses. Now it's time for you to grab your crystal ball and tell us what predictions you have for 2023. Yeah, a little bit of crystal ball gazing here. So we put a lot of thought into this and we've been thinking about it for a while now. There is so much happening in the industry, as you know, and there's so many things coming along. But I think one of the big ones that, that has struck us is the whole growth of the metaverse. And we honestly believe that come 2023, we're going to start to see the true commercialization with practical business applications of the metaverse. You know, with the work being done by a number of players, including Microsoft, um, to create standards across the metaverse industry um, and a lot new, a lot of new players coming up. We truly feel that's going to make a big hit during 2023. One of the other areas that we're seeing a lot of impact and, you know, we're involved in this as a business as well, is this removal of developers' needs to learn the depth of complex platforms like Kubernetes. We're starting to see a lot more platform abstraction and we think that's going to accelerate in 2023, where developers are going to be able to focus on just writing their code, not having to learn you know, Kubernetes or serverless or some more complex underlying solution. They'll be able to focus on just writing their code. They'll drop it in into these patterns and everything will be managed for them. The third area that has struck us whilst we were thinking about this is really the impact of AI on developers. You know, we've all spoken about this idea that AI is going to come along and write our code for us. But I think the real prediction for 2023 is AI is going to help developers create better code. And we're starting to see the maturity of that already, but we're going to start seeing more powerful tools to improve code quality and more powerful tools to help developers accelerate um, and create better synergies within their code bases. And then finally, as we were thinking about this, one of the things that come up a lot over the last few months is the change in compute patterns. We're starting to see a push back to doing more compute on the desktop. Uh, we're starting to see more edge patterns really become realistic. And if you look at the rise of things like WASM, um, I think with the power of these devices, whether it be mobile devices or desktop devices, really developers starting to take that containerization technologies and push them towards the edge of the network, specifically running more workloads closer to the users. So that, that's our list for 2023. Uh, first of all, thank you for sharing those predictions. Uh, if I ask you, what is going to be the focus uh, of Mirantis in 2023? We're really going to be focusing on that developer experience. Um, very much focused on creating a simpler experience for developers, creating a simpler experience for our customers. The whole idea of zero ops um, and really implementing and making that a reality for our customers is going to be a core portion of where we're going to be focusing our efforts in 2023. What are the challenges that you see will be there? Of course, uh, we are also talking about economy, but uh, we also hear that companies will be in increasing their spendings. Uh, but uh, considering all the geopolitical or economic uh, crisis, or maybe in general, just the way you see there's some trends in the developer sphere, uh, sphere, what are the challenges that you see will be there in 2023? And which are the ones that you would like to you know, tackle and solve uh, for the ecosystem? Obviously, the economy is a major challenge, and it's going to change expectation from amount of spend. So one of the biggest challenges we want to help customers focus on is helping them put their money where it's most valuable to them. Um, and to do that, the challenge which we need to tackle is how do we remove all of the non-essential work that companies are doing, that repetitive work? You know, a lot of the infrastructure problems we've spoken about, we say they're solved problems. 
why are companies investing in those when they could be investing their time into building value for their business? So from a Marantis perspective, where we really feel we need to focus our time is how do we help our customers save time and save money so that they can focus on building value? Um, and that should help with the economic challenges that we're all dealing with. Um, from a technology point of view, one of the big areas is the big drive to hybrid technologies. Uh, more and more customers are starting to realize they don't want to be in a single provider. They're starting to realize that cloud isn't necessarily the answer to everything. There is a need for balance between that on-prem technology and that cloud technology. So we're also working towards helping our customers bridge that gap between the challenges of running workloads both on-prem, but also across multiple cloud providers and reducing that risk of going into a single provider. Sean, thank you so much for taking time out and of course share these predictions with us. And as usual, you know, uh, we'll, we'll hold a scorecard and see which of these predictions turn out to be true. And I'll see you again next year. Thank you. Thank you very much. Always great to be here.